when we look back and we think about the first class, tremendous debt of Akar Satayv goes to those 14 parents that were willing to take that leap of faith and entrusted us to be the first class of the yeshiva. When we first started the yeshiva, Rabbi Silberg and I, whenever we went anywhere, just 14 boys, two minivans. Today, looking back, just a short four years later, just went on a trip. For Hanukkah, we went to the Satmar Rebbe and to the Kiryas Yael chicken plant. And a yellow bus wasn't enough even for us. It's just unbelievable, the growth, the Siyat Shmaya. Yeshiva Makar HaTorah reminds me of a throwback in the days when I would go to the yeshiva. One of the yeshivas I attended was the Chavetz Chaim Yeshiva. The feeling we had and the relationship we had to the Rosh Hashivas lasted a lifetime. Till today, Baruch Hashem, I have Rabbi Scheinberg, who's over 100 years old. I still feel like a Talmud of his. I see uh, Rabbi Eisenberg and Rabbi Silverberg are of the same nature. Their success is having boys that are happy, that will come here Shemayim, they'll go out into the world, they'll carry forth the Torah, they'll carry forth their Kiddush Hashem that they make. It is a, a success story that it's in the blooming that's being created. A good, sincere boy who wants to find himself and find his place in learning in Taira. Makar Taira is an ideal situation. The Hanhala is very, very focused on their mission. Too often, we try to put a round peg in a square hole. And Makar Torah has created an environment where there are no holes and there are no pegs. We look at the child and we see who this child is and we bring that child to the level and to the direction which this child needs. If I had to describe the 12th grade, I would say it's like an orchestra. Each one has its own beautiful, unique milas that shine out tremendously. But the achtos, the way they care for each other, look out for each other, like brothers, all blending into a beautiful symphony. There's a special place in my heart for the 12th grade in Makaratari right now, being that they were our first class. Volvi grew from one to 10, I would say 10. They saw a lot in Volvi. They said, Volvi is going to be in the yeshiva and he's going to grow. Baruch Hashem, I can say, Rabbi Eisenberg, Rabbi Silverberg, he did not disappoint me. We grew a lot. They work with his kachas, they, they work together with him to make him what he is. You know, he loves this place. How do you bring out the limud part of the boy? How do you make him into a mentor? This yeshiva found the key to take a boy who had some very serious, good strengths within him, but to turn it into something beyond that and to link him into learning, into Torah, is really due to the fact that the staff, the rabbis, the teachers, everyone here, are really professionals. They're really, truly mechad. My son, Avram Chaim, dwelt of tremendous kesha with his rabbeim, uh, I ha even though all the rabbis were dynamite, he, especially Rabbi Carfield and Rabbi Tauber, and Rabbi Silberberg and Rabbi Eisenberg, he has a phenomenal kesher with them. He's always staying in Lakewood for Shabbosim. He likes it here. The rabbis extend themselves to him, and he's grown tremendously. Each rabbi that Zanel's had, they've been able to zero in on each boy's specific. They've had a, they, they're they're picked for their pikchus and understanding what it is that uh, each child needs and they're able to communicate that and enhance that in that particular boy which is what allows these boys to grow and be molded in an appropriate way. Remembering back to ninth grade where Rabbi Silverberg or Rabbi Eisenberger would make sure that they would have the right meals and that they would be comfortable where they are in the dorm. Even as the yeshiva has grown, the care and the concern and the sensitivity continues you can tell in the last three years that most of them have been here, the yeshiva has been working with each one separate how to bring out his 
greatest potential and you can see how each one has their own individual personality. We made a whole kumzitz with heart, with rachnius and everything. He stopped everybody in the middle of the kumzitz. All the boys sitting there. He starts with the first one. He says, every boy over here has to tell one thing what Hashem did good for him. Where do you think he took it from? I know from where he took this all. He took it from Yeshiva Makara Torah. He had a cheshik to learn guitar. And over here they, developed, they, they taught, they taught him and he, they worked with him to develop his, his, his potential. And now he feels like he's worth something, developing him into a personality. His chavrus at night is dynamite on wheels. He's excellent, phenomenal. And the kesher that they have is great. The fact that during the Benaz Manam, like Sukkot and Pesach, they keep in touch and they talk to each other. This yeshiva has a big heart. It's Rabbi Eisenberg, Rabbi uh, Silberberg. It's, there's no accidents. When Rabbi Tauber's knocking away, this is all part of a, a wonderful, it's a wonderful system. The Bachrim have definitely developed into a uh, into into Bachrim who are, who are ready to go further and and really stay in the future. Mitzvah. Before I started this year, I never thought I would make it, but coming through Mikaira Torah, I feel very accomplished, and I think it will stay with me forever. We are very proud of the 12th grade class, knowing that Mir Tashem, they're gonna go on to very fine Bate Medrashim. Yeah, the man, yeah.